When a big storm hits, your social media feed is flooded with weather jargon. Low pressure system, atmospheric river, polar vortex, but sometimes even the most basic terms can be misleading. I'm talking about weather and climate. They're often used interchangeably, but they actually represent different things. Weather is what's happening right now, or tomorrow, even later this week. This weather station measures things like air temperature, pressure, wind speed, those day-to-day -day changes in atmospheric conditions, that's weather. So what about climate? Well, climate will tell you if you should be expecting to wear something like this in November, or if this is more normal, the long-term atmospheric trends of a region, how much snow you get in a month, or what temperature is considered normal. Climate data is found by averaging those day-to-day -day weather conditions over a set number of years. So you may be thinking, how do we account for climate change? We know our climate is changing. According to Canada's Changing Climate Report, our global mean surface temperature has risen about 0.85 degrees Celsius between 1880 and 2012. That change has been much faster in recent years due to human influence and is happening at an elevated rate in some areas of the world. In order to account for our changing climate, scientists are constantly studying trends and updating what's considered normal for any given area. The takeaways, though climate and weather are clearly linked, they actually represent different things. The climate will tell you what to expect on a day-to-day -day basis, but what you actually get, that's the weather.